Hi, uh, hello, welcome back. It's been a while. Oh my gosh. So I got you some water just in case you get thirsty while we have our conversation. So how are you guys doing? How are you guys putting up with quarantine and being in lockdown? And you know, in solidarity, I just want to say that we are really going through it. But if you guys think of it, this moment right now is incredibly historical. But I really want you to take a moment to really embrace what you're feeling and find a way to express it and to not shy away from those emotions because those emotions are valid, are real, and you have every single right to feel them. I know a lot of us have to finish school and finish work and there's a lot of things going on, but grace is the only thing you can give yourself, okay? Got it? Can I have a sip of your water? Is that okay? I made another introduction for this video and you'll find out later that I didn't have bangs before making this video but I wanted to give a little recap of what it's been like of me living back home I haven't been technically at home for this long of a time since freshman year I think it's been a really good thing for me to be back home reconnecting with my family and my parents I feel like it's a way for me to understand myself better understand my patterns and learning to work through the relationships I have with my parents and my brother and my grandma so I feel like being back home has been a really good way for me to break out of my habits and take the conversation elsewhere and to constantly grow and improve upon myself and it's just been a really great time to be at home i'm so happy that my grandmother is with me right now she moved with us from the philippines and she cooks such good food guys also i got to make over this room it used to be the guest room so i'm gonna rearrange this room and now I made it into my own because my grandmother from the Philippines moved in with us. She's back in my old room and that's where I used to do my old videos. But like, I really freaking enjoy it. I made it in my space. Can you see what I'm doing? I'm putting a nail in my tapestry and using my mom's old sign to tap it in. I was really sad about moving away from campus because I made that my space. Asim had a little nook where I could like read books and like paint and it was just like, like beautiful. But I got to bring that back here and no complaints. I'm so happy with how it looks. I have been seeing a lot of different tips and tricks that people have been circulating around the internet on like different ways to stay sane during this lockdown, quarantine slash pandemic and I have been really missing a lot of that social interactions that I get to have with like my friends, my classmates, my peers, co-workers so I haven't really been getting that at home I've really left my own devices here so what I have been doing to really make sure that I'm not the only person in this household is referred to my pet as my co-worker. Um, it's been doing me wonders. My dog, Cinder, she's a chihuahua. I've just been like, keeping her in my room while I've been doing work and it's been just like, a really great relationship between us and uh, I, I really appreciate. <sighs> well, actually, there are times when my co-worker really gets on my nerves. Angry inside. I've been through stuff, so I'm angry. Yes, but it's not, this is not, be okay, quiet, but Tiffany. Everybody, be quiet! Look, that's what is I'm wrong with you. Help, but you're not, Stop it! I have never in my life yelled at a girl like this. When my mother yells at this, it's because she loves me. I was rooting for you. We were all rooting for you. How dare you learn something from this? When you go to bed at night, you lay there and you take responsibility for yourself because nobody's going to take responsibility for you. You roll in your eyes and you act like this because you've heard it all before. You've heard it all before. You don't know where the hell I come from. You have no idea what I've been through. But I'm not a victim. I grow from it and I learn. Take responsibility for yourself. <laughs> so... And I also really miss my roommate back from college. I miss just having my friends around and coming to my place all the time. So what I have been doing is like when my parents come back from work, I like to prefer them as my roommates. And quite frankly, they're the worst roommates I've ever had to live with. They're loud. My noisy roommate. They don't understand that I still have a semester to finish.
sometimes like make me their cameraman. Please show one more video, please. Talaga? Na well, naman? Oh, isa lang. <laughs> <laughs> karaoke, karaoke. Guys, so I didn't do my homework. I'm not done with my homework. You know they're great parents, but as for me, debatable. I can't complain 100 percent though because there are times, a lot of times, when I cave and I sing karaoke with them. So I've been watching a lot of Money Heist, also known as La Casa de Papel. It's a Spanish TV show on Netflix, and it's just like incredibly poetic. It's just beautiful. It's funny. It's action packed. It's about these like eight robbers who are trying to pull off the biggest heist in entire Spain. Empieza el but I swear to God, you guys will love it. I think another thing with watching Money Heist every single day for this past month, I have been obnoxiously speaking Spanish with my family and my friends. I've been using a lot of Spanish loan words in Tagalog within this household, and I think my family is getting tired of it. Kailangan mo sang tasa? Kailangan mo yung kuchara? O yung tinador? Tinador! O yung kuchilio? Sabulutin kita agus mo. Okay. Nasa ng sapatos ko. Yeah. <laughs> Lunes, Merkles, Biernes, pwede siyang mamalengke dala yung pas, yung pasos nila. Oh, pero sa Sabado Linggo? Sabado Linggo, sarado, wala. Sarado yung tindahan. Ah. Basura. Real quick, Spanish loan words are kind of like Tagalog words that have been loaned by the Spaniards because the Philippines has been colonized by Spain for the past 333 years. So a lot of the Tagalog language has a lot of Spanish words, but they're spelled differently. But at the end of the day, they sound similarly phonetically. It's been really tempting, I must say. It's been really tempting to get quarantine bangs. This pandemic's really been testing all of our patients, but it won't get me. It won't get me. I just want to say thank you for making it this far into the video. And also, if you've been a subscriber to my channel for a while, I want to say thank you for sticking here this long. I made this channel when I was a freshman in high school. I was insecure. I didn't know what to do with my hair. I just realized that I was never really intentional with my channel. I never gave it a purpose. That changes today. I want to be intentional with this channel because I want to express myself creatively. I think there's inspiration to be found everywhere and I think you are deserving of pursuing your talents, desires, and passions just as the next person. If you feel like something is so important to you, then act on it. The only person who makes excuses for anything is yourself. There's always time to set aside to continue doing the work that you want to do. And if there's anything that this pandemic taught us is that time is not short necessarily. Time is how we use it. And every day that we are given is a gift. We never did anything to deserve this day and this moment. I think this is a very important question that I have been asking myself every single day since coming back home. And I hope this is something you also will take away with you from this video, is to ask yourself, what does life expect out of you? No, not what you expect out of life. And I think that's something that I have to sit with. And I am really excited to see, you know, what manifests from this moment on. So I want to say thank you again. I don't know how to do an outro. Okay, bye.